7 p.m., Shanghai, Chongqing District. People are busy eating, heading home, or carry on with their mundane work. But hidden in this ordinary neighborhood, there is a mysterious place, a hub connecting the world. Shanghai Community Radio. Shanghai Community Radio. Yeah. yeah. Shanghai Community Radio is a live stream platform for the Shanghai underground arts and music community. We broadcast three to five times a week on Billy Billy, with each live stream consisting of different artists and community members hosting their own shows. I'm Sam. I'm uh, one of the members of uh, SHCR. I came to Shanghai three years ago. I take care of uh, a lot of the audio stuff. My name's Stefan. I'm born and raised in Shanghai. I'm basically doing the PR stuff at, at SHCR. Experimental music. <laughs> yeah. My name is Katie, and I've lived in China for 10 years. These days, I'm working here every day working on community building and all these other nonsensical things. Actually, it's a friend's idea. Um, it also came from a party. This guy we booked in Basement 6, he came through and played some music, uh, very experimental, like noise music, also kind of club aesthetic. And um, I wanted to carry it around him and I booked um, Hyphy, Charity and Noctilicens to play with him. And uh, it turned really nice because also we had a performance artist doing some performance and somebody projecting visuals. And then from that, I was like, it's cool if we record it because we don't have archive for the events we do in Basement 6. But then the archive itself, I think, is so important because it's a way that you can share these situations more easily, more available. For me, like, live stream is more energetic. It's less processed. Uh, you don't have time for edits. It's improvised. That's just my personal style because I'm not a very well-planned person. It's a little bit more responsive as well. The early SSCR program was conducted on Facebook, but they ran into copyright issues related to DJ mixes during their live streams, prompting them to switch over to Billy Billy, a domestic platform. We face technical failures a lot. Um, it's really embarrassing when it happens. So this happened very, very, very often when we first started in 2017. There's like no handbook to tell you how to stream. Um, so you have to learn what yourself. We were uh, streaming over a VPN. It really made everything more difficult. Um, so we would have a lot of crashes. I think it was also like, I had to learn how to deal with this kind of chaos and like you can't stress out about it because it happens to everyone. It happens to professional streamers, but it's just all about how you handle it. And like, also you just keep rolling and you keep going. Hello everyone and welcome to Shanghai Community Radio. Uh, I'm swimming for and I got Blood's Boy in the studio with you today. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm Jamie. I used to be a part of Shanghai Community Radio. I was one of the founding members. Uh, we started off down in the uh, basement, a uh, really janky little spot. Had one or two cameras, really cheapy setup. Um, but it's been amazing to see how they've kind of developed the space. Like, yeah, Sam Lu, one of the guys on here, he's done all the speakers and all the cameras. It looks amazing. Since we moved in here, we went maybe six months without a crash, which was super, super sick. As one of the most multicultural cities in Asia, Shanghai has a vibrant and booming club scene which is being recognized globally. And SHCR is linked closely to it. Do you like the club scene here? Because it's lawless. 
still. It doesn't have that rich of a history or its restrictions. People can try things out. For example, if you want to do a club night, you can start it right now. As if, if you're in Berlin, you have to go through all of the levels. I would say like, the scenes in Shanghai, it has its own sound. It's really unique. I think everyone is doing their own stuff and it's really authentic. What does a Shanghai dance movement look like? Nobody knows. Does it? I mean, has it been defined yet? What is the Shanghai sound? Can you define it? But we're never going to know that until there's a place for people to have experimentation. We're all going to live there too. We're going to sleep in that one. Uh -huh. And we're going to party in that one. Big studio, big studio. This project, it's not a, about our curation, essentially because it's a community-driven project. It's not about us, it's about everyone in the community. Considering of everyone who wants to contribute and what do they want to give um, and how do they have power. If you do have something you bring to the table or you do have an idea that you might think is different, this is an opportunity and there is a platform to try that type of thing. They don't have to be super polished or don't, they don't have to be high profile at all. Why do I want to be a fan? I can also try to do it myself. I think I can also do it myself. 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 他们不拘泥你的技术如何，他们比较想听到一些不一样的声音，啊，这也鼓励了我。嗯，对我印象最深的一次 party， 然后就是，他不是说呃请了某个嘉宾，或者是呃有什么比较牛逼的人物来，而是就是我那次录完节目之后，然后我们一起去唱 K。就是那次，反正特别特别 happy。第一次感觉从不认识到认识是这么的迅速。啊，我觉得 S H C R 对我来说像妈咪里，嗯，黑漆漆的妈妈，妈咪。China's Great Firewall of Internet Censorship blocks content that the government deems sensitive. Many content creators have to work within its confines. In the past three years. SHCR has experienced two account bans on Bilibili and still run into issues archiving certain live streams on Chinese video and audio platforms. I want to investigate this social media problem between the two countries. So I came to Sanhe. Then I worked there for three months. Then I understood a lot of time and cold and cold. Then today, Shanghai Community Radio asked me to do this interview. I feel very happy. Yes. There's a human resource market in Shenzhen. It's like extremely cheap to live around that area. Those people just find daily pay job. For example, they can make 100 kuai within a day. They're gonna stop working for the next three days. The hotel is like 20 kuai a night, something like that. It's probably a little bit sen sensitive. So yeah, because it's like kind of like social political topic. It's like quite funny sometimes. You don't really know like what they're censoring. 你看，像 BBB 之前，它有一次封号的原因，就是因为它放了一些很奇怪的音乐，就是说过于敏感。因为现在人工智能它已经能识别到歌词，你讲的是什么，然后导致它被封杀掉。所以我就觉得。有时候觉得很无奈，很莫名其妙。可能我们不想表达这个，我们只是觉得啊，这首歌很好听，旋律怎么样？但是他们会因为里面的任内容，嗯，让你禁言，让我觉得挺无奈的。Fuck it. <coughs> But this does not mean that all young Chinese have given up their right to speak up. Take Eloise, the head of the electronic music label Scandal. Who invited Georgian DJ NDRX to China, along with the famous protest story of Georgian Club Basiani? Our guest is from Club Basiani's DJ NDRX. Basiani is the movement, like is the place for express 
the freedom and be what they are. 可能我们在这里就是有一些话是不太好说说出去的，有一些事情是不太好做的。呃，我希望可能有一些其他这样相似的地方的，他们所经历过的事情，或者说他们所见见识到的事情，能够反过来去给我们这边的场景有一些启示。They always defend themselves, and they always will defend their freedom. And yeah, it's impossible for the government to stop that generation. The younger generations, they do what they want. They don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm sad. I'm gonna make a track. I'm angry. I'm gonna make a party. I need to do this because whatever. I'm bored. You know, like that's just keep the shit pure. I guess. On the last day of 2019, SSCR was invited to the Shanghai Tank Art Center, and together with Asian Dope Boys, one of China's most progressive art collectives, held a large New Year's Eve party. People danced, and no one cared whether 2020 would turn out good or bad. 